What's up, my good people? What's up? C.A. Pate back at you with another video. Today's video, I am going to talk about some stuff I've been dealing with with one of my rental properties. Um, one of my rental properties in Illinois. Uh, I, I own five properties in Illinois and four of them are rentals. I use for Airbnb or rentals, so on and so forth. So, during the winter time, it ain't like we can do a lot of car content. This is mainly a car channel. So, unless I'm gonna travel to other states, um, I'm not gonna be able to do a ton of car content. So, today, I'm gonna talk about some of my rental properties and, you know, see if you guys like that content. I'll be able to see from the numbers and the likes and the so on and so forth. So, today, it is snowing in Chicago today, believe it or not. That's why I got the young Scully on. You know what I'm talking about? It is literally snowing, slushy snow in Chicago. So this is what I got going on. And one of my rental properties that I rent to somebody, it's an issue with mice. I don't know where this issue came up from. I've owned that property for like about 15 years. I've been renting to this uh, one young lady at that property for about, hmm, six years never had a mice issue never never any mice so about three and a half weeks ago she noticed the my a mouse running around in the in the house in the rental property the rental property does have a basement i said okay well i don't know you know what i'm saying so you got all types of people that'll say well mice are attracted to filth or you know mice do this or that at the end of the day it's getting cold outside of chicago so the mice want to be warm now it is ironic that this has not come up in like 20 years, right? So what I originally initially did when she told me, I didn't even believe her. So then maybe a couple, like a week went by, I go over, I'm talking to her or whatever. And I do finally see one of the uh, the the mice, he he like, he's jumping around, you know, he he active, he turned up in, in her place, or well, my place, her place that she's renting or whatever. So I'm like, hey, what in the heck is going on so, you know, I, I hit up people that I know also rent properties and do different things. And I'm trying to see, have they ever dealt with something like this? Like, yo, this is what I got going on. I am highly confused because I never had an issue like this before. Hey, have you dealt with this? What's going on? What's cracking? So they're like, hey, yeah, man, I dealt with that. You know, um, you know, you got to call this exterminator, this and that. So end up calling an exterminator. He comes out, he puts down these little black boxes. So in the black boxes, I think it's something called uh, decon that's in the boxes, right? He puts a bunch down. He's looking around. He's like, yeah, this is a new problem. I don't see a lot of droppings. I think they're downstairs in the basement or this and that. He's like, you know, they're on the stairs. I see some mice droppings, but I don't think, you know, this is something new. This ain't like a infestation or anything like that. This is something new that's going on. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. Not sure if that's good news, not sure if it's bad news, but it don't sound, you know, incredibly horrible, horrible. So I'm like, okay, it sounds like this is something we can deal with. Let me just try to get through it as best I can. Um, So he put these traps down or whatever. I'm not gonna call them traps. He said they're supposed to eat the decon in these black little boxes and then they're supposed to go outside and die. So they won't, you know, die in your house and smell up your house. I was like, okay, so I explained it to the lady or whatever. I paid a guy um, like almost 200 bucks to come out and put these traps down. He's like, hey, give it 48 to 72 hours. Hey, these mice should be gone. I said, okay, that's cool. I gave it the 48 to 72 hours. Hey, the mice were still there, right? So I go back and I put these traps down. That I had bought from Home Depot. They're like some electric traps. Um, the mice go in these traps and they don't come out. I don't know if these traps are electrocuting them or what they're doing, but the mice do not come back out of these traps. So in three weeks time, as of yesterday, in three weeks time, I caught seven of these mice. Some of them were small, some of them were big. Then I got this lady that's over, not overreacting, but of course, you know, it's a female, like she's upset about the situation. So every time I catch one and she looking at the tail or something, like, you know, you don't, you just see a tail possibly hanging out depending on the length of the mice, but you don't see the mouse. So that those electric traps are good because you don't have to see them. Now, you know, you could keep throwing the traps away if you want to, but you can use those traps up to a hundred times. Just gotta put the batteries in them. Um, 
And those things, again, they're catching whatever every day. So case in point, yesterday caught two of them. You look on top, the green light is going off. I'm gonna show you later in the video. I'm gonna head over to this lady's house right now and I'm gonna check out and see if anything's been caught today. So I'm gonna show that part of the video as well. Um, so, you know, man, anytime I can be, you know, information for somebody and talk to them and show a person, you know, how to get rid of something or help with something, hey, I wanna do that. So that's what this channel was about is just instructing people on different things not the car content that most of you guys always want car bike content but something different hey even if it's something that you guys want to add to this and a situation you dealt with or something you did hey just let me know add it in the comment section right so going back to it so i i empty out the traps or whatever the case may be and i take care of all of that portion of things and get you know get get everything tightened up so yesterday was the seventh one that i you know i had caught so I'm like, man, man, this is just crazy. Study catching all these mice or whatever. Um, and then seven of them. So when the when the um, the uh, exterminator guy was there a few weeks back, he did say like, hey, you know, a mother rat or whatever could have had babies and she could have had up to 12 to 14 babies. So it looks, it seems like I might just be catching the litter of the babies that are, you know, in the home. So I put decon outside the house as well, but these electric traps, they just seem to be catching everything. The exterminator is saying, just let his traps that he set down, which, which again are not traps, they just eat the decon or whatever, they go in the black box, they eat the decon or whatever, depending on how much they eat, they gotta hurry up and get outside, however they got in, and so they can try to get some air and they can try to breathe. And if they can't get out there quick enough or whatever, then you know, he's saying they're not supposed to die in your house. So he's saying, pick up the electric traps that I put down and I caught seven of these things. So I'm sitting up there like, hey, okay, so do I listen to what he's saying and let it go another 48, 72 hours? Or do I um, let these mice, like just keep catching them in these traps? So when you got a tenant and you, you know, you're dealing with a female or whatever, and you're dealing with all of this, you, you're trying to get this person's home back to, you know, the best, way that it could be as soon as possible then the other thing you're dealing with is you know she this lady she has to work every day and this and that she's stressed out so last weekend i had to pay for her um a hotel room for the weekend just so she could sleep and relax because this the whole thing just has her freaked out she's sleeping with the lights on every night and this and that so, so i'm just like man this is crazy and then for somebody like me that has rented airbnbs and, and and purchased homes and purchased rental properties and different things i literally have never dealt with a mouse ever in this time that i've been renting and doing things for the last and i've been renting and doing things for like uh like 19 years like right almost 20 next year will be 20 years um was one of my first investment properties that i purchased or whatever so hey, i've been doing this thing a minute so maybe i just got lucky or whatever it was um so this has been going on for almost a month so i'm gonna go over here and look at these traps yesterday i did call it's a town home that this is in it's not an apartment building it's a town home so just to like set the scene on it it is it is a town home and it's on one left side of the home. Ain't no, there's no, uh, no, uh, no house over there. On the right side, it's connected to a house, so it's only connected to one house, or whatever you know, which is what it is. So that person on the other side, on the right, they do have a person on the side of them, you know. So then you got the row of homes. So I call the older lady that lives next door, and I was like, man, let me ask her finally if she been having any issues or whatever. I call her up, she's like, oh yeah, I noticed this four and a half months ago that I was having some issues. I'm like, okay, what kind of issues do you have? Oh, I was upstairs in my bedroom and I saw one, it was crawling on carpet or whatever in my bedroom. I'm like, oh, okay, what did you do about it? She's like, um, well, I haven't seen mice in years, you know what I'm saying, since I left my last property some years ago, a few years ago and came to this new property. So she's not the owner, she rents the property or whatever. So I'm like, okay. So she says she saw it, then she saw another one like down in the kitchen and this and that, and she didn't initially do anything. Then she finally did something like maybe a month and a half ago, and she put down all these mothballs, and she put down um, mothballs, some type of peppermint stuff, and walnuts and raisins, and I'm like, man, it sounds like she making a taco salad at the crib or something like that, but she said this is all stuff that 
makes mice go away. The mice don't want to deal with this stuff. So I'm like, okay, well, you know, this is a learning experience for me. Hey, you know, thanks for letting me know, so on and so forth. So I'm trying to, I'm like, but I'm not gonna put a bunch of mothballs down. And she said a lot of her relatives haven't been wanting to come to visit her because she got all these damn mothballs down in the whole house. You know, smells like mothballs. She put them everywhere. But she said it seems like it drove them away with everything that she put down. And over the last month, she really ain't been seeing them. So I'm sitting there thinking like, okay, so that might mean that she drove them over to my rental property. She done drove them away from her and then drove them over to my rental property. What I'm noticing the main activity is, is by the front door of the townhouse rental property. At the front door, um, this is one of those properties that has baseboard heat. So it doesn't have furnace heat, it has baseboard heat. So with this baseboard heat that I'm noticing or whatever, it has like, right under the heater, it's a wood floor, it's a hardwood floor. But the hardwood floor, it, where that heater is, it doesn't go all the way to the wall. It's a little crack, and that's where I'm noticing them at. It's like they're coming through this little crack that's in the floor from the basement or something. So maybe it got something to do with the drop ceiling or whatever in the basement. But it seems like when you cut the heat on, upstairs and, and that's where the heater is they come from under this heater when you cut the heat on that's on the like baseboard heat electric heat they come from under there and um the minute it gets too hot it seems like hey they come out and they go straight into these traps because i got the traps set over there so with that being said you know at this point um i'm catching at least you know one every 48 hours but yesterday was the first time that i caught two so I caught a small one and then I caught a big one, bigger one. So I've already checked with the different exterminators because again, I don't know a lot about you know mice like that. So I'm like, hey, listen, are these um are these what dumb thing did I say? Are these mice? Are these rats? Because some of them seem to be bigger, and they're like, no, you know, some of those are mice, and then other ones are bigger, a big it's a bigger mouse. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. So just trying to figure out, so I, I felt like I kept, I caught three bigger ones and then I caught uh, four really, really tiny, small mice. So that's what I caught so far. So I'm trying to figure out, okay, do I leave down what the exterminator had? Cause he's begging me to pick up the traps that I put down the electric traps. So I'm trying to figure out, do I pick up those traps or do I just try to have faith in him and what he's telling me that, hey, if they have nothing else to eat or whatever, whatever, they're going to go to his little traps that set up with the decon. They're going to eat that stuff and then they're going to have to get outside or whatever. And then you get rid of all of them. Uh, don't got no cat. Don't want no cat or whatever. This lady doesn't want a cat over that way. So having some issues with it. Talk. Decided to talk to my YouTube family. Uh, I'm happy to be to over 500 subscribers now. Um, all this channel's only been up for you know almost four months or whatever it's been, and we already got 500 you know members. I want to get to that next 500 so I can start getting monetized or whatever. So like, please, if you're watching this, subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe, you know, hit the like, leave a comment, hit the notica notification bell. But please hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to this thousand as soon as possible. So I'm about to go over here. I'm gonna see if anything is in the trap. If something's in the trap, I'm gonna show the process of what I've been doing and um, how I empty the trap out and whatever, whatever. I'm gonna go through that whole process. This isn't gonna be one of those videos where at the end of the day, it's like probably some happy in, uh, outcome. And I'm like, oh yeah, I saved the day and this is done. No, it seems like this is something that's gonna be going on. So I might come back, back with a follow-up video, letting you guys know what happened, what didn't happen, so on and so forth. But until then we can get some comments in the comment section and you guys can tell me what you think overall um i even put these traps down in the basement and nothing comes up in the basement which is weird like i can't catch anything in the basement but i'm putting them on the floor and there is a drop ceiling in the basement so you know but when i put them upstairs by this heater which is by the front door hey maybe it's something with that hey the front doors are kind of older so i don't know you know, I've been looking for like some type of daylight, just trying to figure out if they're like coming in under the door somehow or something. I don't know. I can't figure it out. Um, I'm going to need my YouTube family to try to figure some of this stuff out. But I'll be back with you in a second. I'm going to uh, go in here and I'm going to check the traps and start recording or whatever. Again, if I see a green light on on top of one of these electric traps, it means that there is a mouse in the trap. If I don't see a green light on, then that means there is no mouse in the trap.
for whatever reason, when these mice get any near anywhere near this electric trap, they go directly in this trap. So I'll be back with you guys in a second. So as you guys can see, these are those traps that I was talking about. We got a few lined up here. This is where, you know, it's like a front door right here. So this is kind of where, um, I don't think they're coming in this front door. I think it's something under this heater. Um, once you cut the heat on, they seem to come from right under there. You see there's a little gap, right? It's a little gap. I don't know if you guys can see it. So, so far, as I said, caught seven of them uh, as of right now. Um, so we come in and you load this up, you'll see a green light on like that. That means one is in there. So today, caught a couple. I'm going to give you guys another update to this video once I have this problem rectified. I guess it's rectified when I don't catch anymore, right? So, um, at the end of this video, I'll show you the ones that I did catch and how these things open up. These black electric traps open up. It takes four AA batteries. These things are 100% effective. I promise you, if whatever's in your house, if there's mice, or rats, it's going to catch it. They're going to get caught within 48 hours. So, until next time, my friends, C8 Pate out. Again, this is a video about my rental property that is having some issues. <clears throat> I'm going to do follow-up videos. Please subscribe to the channel. Thanks. At the end of this video, you will see what I caught. A couple of the things that I caught.